The charm offensive continues for Iran's new president. After saying earlier this week that he wanted to engage in time-bound and results-orientated talks on his country's nuclear program, Hassan Rouhani has now given a time frame. In an interview with the Washington Post, Mr. Rouhani said the shorter it is, the more beneficial it is to everyone. If it's three months, that would be Iran's choice. If it's six months, that's still good. It's a question of months, not years. The pressure is certainly on. Iran's economy is suffering because of years of crippling sanctions. Mr. Rouhani made the economy one of his top priorities in his campaign for presidency. According to the president, Iran's supreme leader has given him the power to negotiate the nuclear issue. He said Iran would be transparent in its dealings with the West and negotiating over the nuclear program would be the starting point for improved relations with the U.S. But a possible meeting between President Obama and Rouhani on the sidelines of the UN in New York this week failed to materialize. In an interview with another US network, this time to journalist Charlie Rose, President Rouhani said there was still a lot of work to be done. We're speaking of two countries who have had no relations for 35 years. So it's clear that to begin talks requires some preparation work. And whenever the prep work is completed, I believe that it's possible to have a meeting. Uh, perhaps if we had more time here in New York, we may have been able to coordinate what was necessary for that meeting to take place. We are rushing into the meeting. But meetings are taking place at lower levels. On Wednesday, Iran's foreign minister, Mohammad Javad Zarif, met his French counterpart. And on Thursday, he'll meet the US Secretary of State, John Kerry, as well as diplomats from the UK, France, Russia, China and Germany to talk about the nuclear program. It may be early days for a presidential handshake, but the diplomatic overtures from both sides are signs of progress. Katie Watson, BBC News, Washington.